Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for today's at home full body Pilates burn and sculpt. In today's routine, we're gonna be working all of our major muscle groups. I'm gonna be using a set of three pound hand weights. You can go heavier or lighter depending on your level of strength. This workout doesn't include a warm up, but it does include a little bit of a cool down. So make sure you warm up your body before exercise. With that in mind, let's go ahead and get right into our routine. We're going to start off in a seated position aligning the ankles, the knees, and the hips, sit up really nice and tall, elevating up through the crown of the head, stacking the vertebra one on top of the other. From here, I'm going to take the weights in my hands, palms facing in toward each other, weight is at shoulder height. We're going to curve back into the shape of a C with the spine, and then we're going to lift and repeat. Curve back, inhaling, engaging the core. Exhale to lift those arms, restacking the spine. Curve back, engaging the abdominal wall, and lift. Nice work. Curve it back, keep those feet in contact with the mat, and lift. Lower, abs into lift. Inhale to lower into your C shape with the spine. Exhale to lengthen through the spine. Good. Really working into the abdominal wall here. Lowering, <sighs> belly to spine to lift. Keep those legs parallel. Nice, keep those shoulders down away from the ears as you curve back into your C shape. For three, <sighs> two, <sighs> and last one, we're gonna come down and hold in our C curve. Pull your belly towards your spine and lift, alternating arm up, maintaining that contraction of the abdominal wall, keeping those arms nice and long and strong. Let's go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work, roll up. Now we're gonna roll all the way down to the mat, fists above the shoulders. We're going to roll up, bringing the fists up toward the ceiling and lower down. Roll up, straightening through the spine and engaging the abs as you lower down one vertebra at a time. So you're lowering and crunching and lifting. Lowering, keeping those feet flat on the floor and lifting up toward the ceiling with those fists. <sighs> Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Really control it on the way down, contracting those abdominals inward as you lower down one vertebra at a time. Amazing work. Stick with it for four and three. Using that core, two. Amazing work. Last one, lift, lower the hands to shoulder height, pull back into your C curve. Pull back on one side, pull back on the opposite side, repeat. Now your aim here is to keep your hips facing forward, your shoulders down away from your ears. Rotate around the rib cage as you pull elbows back. Look out over your shoulder with every rotation. Keep it up, keep those arms strong. Good, for five, four, three, really rotate, two, and one, amazing work, lifting up. Find the center of your mat, roll down one vertebra at a time, take the weights over the shoulders. We're gonna go into a dead bug here. So I'd like you to bring your knees and your legs into tabletop, knees above the hips. From here, we're going to extend right arm and left leg, bring it back, and switch sides. Returning the weight over the shoulder between each repetition and the knee over the hip. Good. Moving slowly to begin with. If you're feeling strong here, you can pick up head, neck, and shoulders for a little bit more of a challenge. Good. Inhale, extend, exhale, belly to spine as you bring the arm and the leg back in. Nice work for five, four, three, two. You're doing great. Lift up a little higher into that crunch if you can. 
and one. Now hold it here. We're gonna move same arm and leg together and pick up the pace. <sighs> Lift up a little bit higher into your crunch. Good, really point and lengthen through the toes. Move those arms, nice strong straight arms. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work. Lower down, bring your knees in toward your chest. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Take your weights down by the side and roll up into a seated position. From here, we're going to come into an all fours position. I've got my weights under my shoulders, knees under the hips. Legs are hip distance apart here, shoulders are broad, hips are level. We're going to extend the right arm and the left leg, lengthen, then draw elbow and knee together and lengthen to opposite ends of the room with the fist and the toes. Tap and extend. Inhale and exhale. Good, tap, extend, tap, extend. Find that balance and stability. Move a little bit more slowly if you need to. To find that balance, engage your core, level out those shoulders and hips for three, two, and one. Hold, and we're gonna lower a couple inches with the leg and the arm and lift. Lower, lift. Little pulses here, keeping those shoulders and hips level. Good, seven, Six, squeeze the glutes, engage the shoulder, two, and one, hold, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen for five, four, three, two, and one, lower down. Nice work, now we're gonna switch sides. Extend the right leg, extend the left arm, find that balance, find that centering and that stability through the trunk, and then draw the elbow and the knee together. Good, inhale and exhale. Move as slowly as you need to here to achieve that balance and that trunk stability. I'm finding balancing a little bit harder on this side. Sometimes that's the case. Good, just focus. for four, three, two, abs in, and one, hold. Level out those shoulders and hips, lower and lift, lower and lift. Squeeze the glutes, contract the shoulder, engage the core. For five, four, three, two, and one, hold and lengthen for five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work, Whew, I'm sweating. Okay, from here we're gonna go into some tricep push-ups. You can keep your weight in your hands like so, or you can flatten your palms down onto the mat if that's more comfortable, if your hands need a little bit of a rest. We're going to lower the chest in between the weights or the palms and then push up through the heels of the hands. Lower, keep the elbows in close toward the side of the body and lift. Lower and push up, focusing on the backs of the arms, engaging the core, keeping the spine in neutral here. <sighs> Breathe out to push up off the mat. <sighs> For four, <sighs> three, <sighs> two, and one. Now we're gonna lower into a half bend of the elbows. So a half tricep push up and then push up. So you're almost pulsing here. Lowering halfway down and pushing up. Lower and push up. You should feel the burn in those triceps. Lower and push up. Let's go six, five, 
four, keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Three, two, and one. Amazing work. Take the knees nice and wide. Stretch the hands out, release the weights, and stretch back into child's pose. For four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Now from here, I'm just gonna place the weights off to the side for a moment, and we're gonna come down onto the left forearm and straighten out the right arm. We're gonna take the right leg over to the right side of the body, stretching out and lengthening through the spine, nice long neck. Lift that right leg nice and high, bring it in toward the elbow and extend. In, extend. Now really tighten your belly button in towards your spine here. Focus on squeezing the, the thighs as you lengthen out and tightening in the waistline as you bring that knee in toward the elbow. Good. Lift abdominal wall. Pick up the pace if you can. Good. Really extending and lengthening. Full extension between each rep. We've got seven, six, five. Give it all you've got. Four, three. Nice long neck. Two. And one, hold it here, pulse the leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the leg down. Amazing. Now, from here, crawl the, to the top of your mat if you're not already there. We're going to curl the toes and lift up into a shin lift position, nice and broad across the shoulders. Shins are parallel with the mat. We're going to extend the left leg out long and we're going to lift and lower that leg. Good. Hold in your shin lift if you can. If you absolutely need to, then just drop that right knee down to the mat and carry on with the leg lift on the left side. That's perfectly fine. Good. Just make sure you keep moving for five, four, nice broad shoulders, three, two, and one amazing work. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. So we're going to drop onto the right forearm, take the left leg out and over to the left, lengthen through the spine, lift the leg and bring it in. Inhale and exhale. You're doing great. Really focusing on that waistline and that full extension of the leg as we take it up nice and high and point hard through the toes so that the leg muscles are engaged. Good. Keep it up. Heart rate is elevated. I'm sweating here. We're working hard for five, four, Three, two, and one. Hold at the top of the lift and pulse. High as you can with that leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. Amazing work. Come to the top of your mat if you're not already there. And from here, curl your toes. Lift up, hovering the knees above the floor. Extend the right leg out long, lift and lower. Good. Squeeze the glutes. Keep that knee hovering above the floor or lower it down if need be. Keep those shoulders nice and broad. For four, three, squeeze that bum, two, and one, lower down. Take your knees nice and wide. And stretch into puppy pose, keeping those hips elevated. A few restorative breaths here. Slowly exhale. Amazing work. From here, we're going to take a hold of our weights again. And we're going to lower down onto the mat one vertebra at a time. From this position, we're going to take 
the weights over the shoulders. We're gonna bring the legs into tabletop. Legs are squeezing together, knees over hips. We're gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna crunch up and pump the arms. One, two, three, four, five, then lower. Inhale and exhale. And lower, good. So pumping the arms five times, engaging the core, pulling the belly button to the spine, and then rolling down with control and inhaling. Good work. Amazing. Now if you're feeling strong here, we're gonna pick up the level of challenge. Every time we curl up, we're extending the legs. Good. Amazing. Extend and lengthen, squeeze those legs together. And if you want even more of a challenge, take them out at a lower angle. That makes it much harder. Good. Amazing work. Last two sets. Last one. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna take the weights out to the sides, hold them stationary and flutter the legs. This can be done with straight legs or a slight bend at the knee. We're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale to curl up, engaging the core. Arms are by the sides, palms facing down, nice strong straight arms and flutter the legs. Pointing through the toes, engaging the core, peeling up a little higher into that crunch. Let's go 10, nine, lower the legs if you can. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and draw everything in, nicely done. Now we're gonna go into some bridge work. So we're going to plant the feet down on the floor. We're going to take the weight on the hips Spine is in neutral, heels are below knees. We're gonna inhale here. Exhale, tilt the pelvis back and roll up into your bridge. We're gonna pulse up for one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to abduct the knees and then bring them back to parallel for two, three, four, and five, lower down, lift the legs up and crunch up. One, two, three, four, and five. Lower feet down, repeat. One, two, three, four, five bridge pulses. Widen the knees, two, squeeze the glutes, four, and five. Lower down, come into your upper ab crunches, lift. If you need to bend the knees slightly, do so. Four, reach for the toes and five. Lower down, one, two, tuck the tailbone, three, four, and five. Keep the core engaged here. Two, three, four, and five. Lower down, upper ab crunches, one, two, lift a bit higher, three, four and five, lower down, two more sets. Really push up through your heels. Good work. Take those knees nice and wide, lower down, reach up, really challenge yourself, reach for the ceiling, engage the core. Amazing, last set. Lifting, now we're gonna pulse for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, squeeze those glutes, 2, and 1, abduct those knees, 3, 4, 5, squeeze the thighs and the glutes, 9, and 10. Coming up, we're going to come up for 20 pulses up for our grand finale, lift those legs, elevate those arms, curl and crunch up and let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, belly to spine. Three, two, one, last 10, lift a little higher. Good work, 
three, two, one, and hold, hold, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your right leg, lower your left leg. Drop your weight off to the side of the mat. Roll over onto your stomach. And let's stretch out those abdominals. Take your hands on either side of your shoulders. Peel up. Stretching out the abdominal wall. Breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth for three, two, and one. Lower down. Take yourself up into a plank. Fold your right leg under your body and stretch your left leg out long behind you. Stretching out in pigeon pose. We're gonna add a rotation if that feels good. Looking out over your right shoulder. Back to center, inhale and exhale to the other side. Back to center, amazing work. Step back into your plank, fold your left leg under your body and straighten your right leg out long. This time we're gonna sit up nice and tall, stretching and lengthening, and then fold down onto the mat, resting head on forearms. For three, two, and one, bring the soles of your feet together. Hinge forward, press down gently on your knees and coming into a butterfly stretch, opening up the hip area and stretching out the thighs for five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting up, bringing right foot in towards your inner thigh, lifting up and lengthening over to the left, keeping your right bum cheek down on the floor, stretching through the side body for five, four, three, two, and one. Return to center, switch sides, lift up and fold over. Little hip crack in there. <laughs> Keep your left bum cheek down on the floor, reach and stretch. Keep breathing here. In through the nose and out through the mouth for four, three, two, and one. Cross your legs. We're going to finish off with some shoulder rolls. Shrugging away tension that might have built up in those shoulders as you worked so hard in our session. I'm really sweaty and red in the face. I hope you felt it too. Good, last one. <sighs> Melting those shoulders down and back. Great work, thank you so much for joining me for that little bit of a cardio, quick paced Pilates routine. I hope you enjoyed the burn and I look forward to moving again with you next time. See you soon.